Hi lovely, I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this reversible seamless bikini top. The sewing pattern is available to download in the description below. If you like this video, please make sure to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed yet. Thank you. Now let's get started. You will need the follow material and tools. Go ahead and cut all your pattern pieces. After you have cut in your pattern pieces, we're going to start off by making the stripes. So we will need four stripes, two for the neck and two for the back. I like to pin my stripe like this because it makes it easier and I can take it off as I, as I go. Now we need to add elastic for the four of them. This is optional, but to be honest, I highly recommend to add the stripes because it just gives that really nice professional look. Because I tried doing without the elastic and it just doesn't look as nice when you add the elastic. There's a two ways you can do it. Uh, you can add the elastic like this or you do your stripe first and then you just insert the elastic. Now let's turn our stripes inside out. If you have a loop toner, it makes your life easier, but if you don't, you can always use a safety pin. Now place your front right side together with your lining. Pin around the side seam. And the neck as well. And the waist seam as well. So we're going to stitch around the side seam. Go ahead and then start stitching in your soldier if you don't have a soldier you can use a sewing machine but make sure your stitch is set to a zigzag stitch and then just another tip guys make sure your both fabric are aligned together because it is a stretch fabric, so it can get very slippery. So make sure you just keep shaking when you stitch together.
can now just trim about one centimeter at the top of your neck same just like this the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to insert the stripes for the neck now insert your stripes just through the hole down the side same and I find it easy as well when I'm inserting the stripes I'll leave about like five 0 0.5 centimeter one centimeter for the stripe because when you stitch it's not going to move so now let's go to the sewing machine and then stitch down the top and make sure your sewing machine is set to straight stitch and do backstitch twice if you have to <laughs> do for both stripes it helps as well sometimes you just help the machine to pull the now trim the excess fabric So pull your, your stripes around inside the top because we need to stitch the elastic. Now let's add the elastic at the neck seam. And then at the side seam as well. On the other side, the same, and on the other side as well. I don't usually use a um, elastic foot, but I wanted to show you guys because I know there's a lot of beginner um, for the swimwear, so it makes it very easy if you have a um, elastic foot. As you guys can see here, it's literally like very very easy I do highly recommend you to get this elastic foot because it will make your life much easier if you're a beginner and the best thing about it is that when you have elastic foot it's just you adjust it to how much you want it to stretch the fab, the, the elastic. So for my for my swimwear pattern, it's already reduced to the right fabric material, so you don't need to stretch the elastic. Just so you know. You're almost done, now we just need to add the stripes on the side seam. Put the stripe through the hole to the other side. And then do the same thing for the other side, but we're going to fit in the stripes. We're just going to leave everything inside. And now go ahead in your sewing machine and just do the same thing, stitch on the sides. And make sure you backstitch. I'll leave all the tools um, link in the description below, guys. If you want to buy any of those tools that I'm using, the link is below the description.
Now cut this size fabric. Just make sure you don't cut your stitch that we just stitched earlier. So because we need a hole to turn the swim top right side out, just in stitch a little bit. You don't really need to unstitch that much. You just probably around one centimeter. So now turn your swim top right side out through the small hole. And you're almost done. The only thing is left to do is to close that hole. You can close by using an invisible thread or you can just stitch on the machine and make sure you're using the same color thread. And you're done. Guys, this is probably the most easiest bikini top. It's very, very simple to do. Okay, I hope you like and make sure to share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. So here is the final product. I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching.